Hi, welcome to my channel. This is where I put video tutorial for my Etsy shop. Today, I'm going to show how to use Canva to edit a text-based template with some photos and clip art. Let's use this newspaper template as an example. First, this is how to access the Canva template that you purchased from my Etsy store. Open the PDF file downloaded from Etsy. Choose the template you want to use and click the link. A new window will open. Click Use Template. Sign up to Canva if you don't have an account yet. It's free to sign up. Once you're done signing up, the template will open. Scroll up and down to see all the pages. You can also click this small arrow to view the thumbnail of all available pages. If the print size you want is not included when you purchase the template, this is how you can resize the template. You already have the purchase template open. Next, go to File, choose Create a new design, then, choose Custom Size. Enter the size you want. I'll enter 11 by 14 inches here. Then, click Create a new design. A new document tab will open. Go back to the original template tab. Click the grid icon at the bottom right of the page. You'll see all the available pages. Select the pages you want to copy. Hold the Shift key to select multiple pages. Hit Ctrl C or Command C on Mac to copy the selected pages. Go to the New Document tab. Open the grid view. Hit Ctrl V or Command V on Mac to paste the pages. To go back to the editing page, just click the grid icon again. Now, you can start editing the new and resized template. Now, I'll show you how you can add or edit text in Canva. If you ever use Microsoft Words, the concept is mostly the same. To change the text, you need to highlight it first. Put your cursor on the text. Double click to highlight a word, continue to double click to highlight the whole content. Or you can drag your cursor to highlight specific words. Type in your new text to replace the highlighted text. With the text box selected, click the font name on top left to select a different font. Choose any font from the left panel. Anything without the yellow crown is free to use. Click the plus and minus sign to change the font size. You can also type in the number here. Or drag the corner of the text box in or out to resize. Highlight the text. Then, click here to change the color of the text. Use the top menu to set the style of your text. You can set it to bold, italic or underlined. Make it uppercase or lowercase. Change the text alignment, set the letter spacing and line spacing. To select and edit multiple text boxes at once, hold the shift key while clicking them. You can also use your mouse to highlight the text boxes. Then, choose the top menu to edit. To add a new text, click on the text menu on the left here. Then choose any of the default size. Type in your text. Then, drag the text box to the location you want. To duplicate a text, click the duplicate icon here. To delete a text, click the trash icon or hit the delete key on your keyboard. If you make any mistake, use the undo button to go back to previous change. Next, let's learn how to replace the photo in the template with your own photo. First, we need to upload our photo into Canva. Click the Upload menu here. Then choose Upload Files. Once the upload completed, you'll see all your uploaded photos under the Upload and Image tab here. To change your photo, just drag and drop your photo into the photo frame. Double-click on the photo to adjust the positioning. Drag the corner in or out to resize. Move the photo around with your mouse. To change photo again, just drag a new photo. To get the authentic newspaper effect, it's better to have a black and white photo. If your photo is not already black and white, you can use the built-in filter in Canva. First, click on your image. Go to Edit Photo. Under Filters, click See All. Scroll down to Mono for black and white photo. Choose anything that suits your photo. I'll choose Noir filter for my photo. Next, 
let's try to edit some shapes and clip arts. For the program here, let's say the couple don't feel like dancing in front of the crowd. So, we're going to delete this. That leaves us with seven events. So, we have to rearrange these circles. Click the position button here. Under the layers tab, scroll down until you see the circle layers. Click the top circle. Hold the shift key and click the bottom circles to select everything in between. Then, go to arrange tab. Under the space evenly menu, choose vertical. Now the circles are evenly spaced. Let's quickly arrange all the elements. You can use your mouse to drag the elements into position. Or use the arrow keys on your keyboard to move in small steps. Next, I want to change this farewell and send off to fireworks instead. I'm going to edit the text and delete the carriage icon here. Then, go to Elements. Search for fireworks in the search bar. Under Graphics, click See All. Click the image of firework you want to use. Anything without the yellow crown is available for free user. Click the color box here if you want to change the color of the image. In this case, I'm just going to maintain the black color. Let's adjust the size a little bit and drag the image into the correct position. And, here's our edited reception program. Remember, you can always use the position function to align your elements to the center, left, right, top or bottom. Sometimes, when you click on certain elements, like the borderline here, you'll see a lock icon. It is locked so that you don't move it accidentally. To unlock the borderline, click the lock icon. Then, you can move it around freely. To lock it back, just click the lock icon again. For the last part of this tutorial, I'm going to show how to download the finished template to your computer. First, click the share button on the top right. Then, click download. Under the file type, select PDF print. This will ensure you get the highest quality file for printing. Select the pages you want to print. And click the purple download button to download the file to your computer. You can use this downloaded PDF file to print it yourself at home. Or you can send it to your local print shop for printing, if for some reason you need other file format. You can follow this step on how to convert the PDF file to PNG or JPG file format. Even though you have the option to download as PNG or JPG in Canva. But for free user, the file quality is limited. You need a paid version of Canva to download a high resolution PNG. So, we're going to use a web based converter called Cloud Convert to get our PNG file. Just Google Cloud Convert in your browser. Type in the original file format. I'll type PDF here. And then, the file I want is PNG. Make sure the pixel density is set to 300. For the rest, you can just leave it blank. Then, click Select File to select the file you want to convert. Hit the Convert button. The site will start processing your file. Once it's done converting, you can download the file to your computer. And that's how you get a high-resolution PNG file. I guess I've covered most of the things you need to know. Don't forget to check out my Etsy store for more Canva templates. See you again if I decided to make another video.